Imen Khalif has gone for gold, beating China's Yang Lui for the welterweight boxing title, in spite of the controversy that has overshadowed boxing events in Paris. I am a woman, like any woman. I was born a woman and I have lived as a woman, but there are enemies to success and they can't digest my success. Early on in the Games, news emerged that the Algerian athlete allegedly failed a gender eligibility test in 2023 due to certain chromosomes, a test result that the International Olympic Committee disregards. Khalif was disqualified from last year's World Championships by the International Boxing Association. The Olympic Committee's decision to allow those who failed the test to compete in the women's division sparked debate amidst heightened scrutiny around women's sports and transgender athletes. The, the tests themselves, the process of the tests, the ad hoc nature of the tests are not legitimate and you'll also expect me to tell you that I'm not going to discuss the individual intimate details of athletes uh, in public, which I think is pretty disgraceful for those who've, who've leaked that material. Uh, frankly, to be put in that position must be awful. Women must be allowed to take part in, uh, in women's uh, competitions. And the two are women. In the face of a fierce gender debate both on and offline, Imen's case has led to a surge of support at home in Algeria. From the country's president to aspiring athletes from her hometown. Iman is a woman. She was born a girl, lived as a girl and boxes like a woman. Criticism and attacks don't affect her. We say to her, continue your career and pursue your dream, which is to win the gold medal and first place. A dream which has now become reality.